Hi, so I want to demo today how to create a configuration file for your SSIS package such that uh, before you run it, you, you could change certain variables and actually run it, say, for a different database or if there's uh, parameters or uh, configuration settings that actually change before you want to run it. So here, uh, for example, I have a variable named hello, but what if I wanted to actually change it uh, when I deploy it into production? You know, how do I do that? So let, let me run this SSIS package and you'll see what it does. Basically, it just outputs that variable and another variable I just concat the output variable with hello. So that's all it does. Um, so uh, the way for me to actually create a configuration file is I go under SSIS, click on package configurations, and you'll notice um, I'm gonna say I'm actually just gonna remove this and I'm gonna add a new one and XML configuration is fine and I'm gonna browse to where I want the configuration file so I'm gonna actually name it um, I already have something here already so I'm gonna select this name and it's gonna ask me, I'm gonna say overwrite because I already, so this screen's gonna come up and your variables are gonna be there. So here, I actually wanna replace these variables. And, and you could do the same with the connection string. Or you could do it from the command line uh, the same way I'm gonna do it with the variables. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to show you how to change the variables for simplicity's sake because of the Olay connection, you could do the same way. Um, so I'm just going to click Next. And again, these are the variables that are going to show up in my configuration file. And I can name it anything, um, which that is actually fine. So it now created a configuration file. So if I look into my project, um, let me click close here. If I go into my project, you'll notice it created this file dtconfig. And I'm going to go in here, and it's an XML file. I'm going to format it so that it's a little bit more readable. So you'll notice here are the names of my variables, property names. And here's the value itself. So. Uh, if I deploy this into production, I, I could actually change this variable. So uh, let me demo that from running that in the command line. So what I've done is I've copied my DTSX file into this temp directory. And I'm actually going to open this up in Notepad here. Um, yeah, I'm going to open it up in Notepad and you'll notice this is going to be hello so in my um, command line and the way I'm going to I'm going to actually going to run this DTSX from the command line so I have here the command line parameters I'm actually going to run the command is actually dtexact.exe which is already my path, and it's actually in this path here. But it's already in my path, so if I type that in, you'll notice it executes, but without anything. So my file, my DTXS file, the uh, parameter is slash file, slash config file is my config file. And I could actually change the default Olay DB connection via, my, uh, via the command line. So I'm just going to concatenate all of the choices here. And when I run it from the command line, you'll notice quickly, let me do that again. So I'm, I'm just running my SSIS package from the command line. It's exactly how I did it in the GUI. So I'm getting the same output. Now what if I wanted to change that value? So suppose I change this value here to Hello, YouTube viewers. And I'm going to run it again. 
and it did not work. And the reason why it didn't work is because in my package here, and, and this is actually a little bit of a paradox, is in my package here, when I did package configurations, I have this checked. Now, in order to create that configuration file, I have to actually check this. But to actually use it within uh, C, to, to actually override the configurations, I actually have to uncheck this. And this is regardless of whether I have this uh, running under SQL agent or under the command line. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to save this again. And now I, I actually have to copy this, save the version to where I'm running it. And I'm going to replace with the destination. And now, if I run it, hello YouTube viewers, hello YouTube viewers. So uh, definitely remember that point that um, you actually have to check, you actually have to check this to create the configuration file, but uncheck it to actually use the configuration file, which is a very uh, twisted way of doing it uh, by Microsoft, but I'm, I'm sure they have their reasons. Um, so, uh, once again, I'm, I'm going to change the config. I'm, I'm going to change it back to once again, hello. So, so this is a method of, uh, you know, ch changing the parameters, uh, if, if you're deploying it for a different database or, or for just a different customer in production or whatever. So. Um, all right, uh, that's really it. Um, so hopefully you find this useful in how to actually create a configuration file for your SSIS. Um, okay, thank you for watching.